I wanted to talk to you guys a little about um, what's happening with Adobe Muse. Now, I wake up this morning and I get an email from Adobe and, you know, usually it's really good. You know, they always talk about new updates and stuff like that in my emails. And um, I was hoping that they was going to invite me out to Adobe Max. But, you know, they still haven't caught on to that yet. So if you guys know anybody from Adobe or if you are somebody from Adobe, I want to come. <laughs> Can I come? You know, that would be cool. But um, no, today is more of one of those kind of like sad moments because they sent me an email about Adobe Muse and the product announcement, which is that they're letting go of Adobe Muse, which sucks because two of my websites right now, my actual clothing line website and my portfolio website is done on Adobe Muse, which I mean, I guess really wouldn't be a problem, you know, because Adobe Muse isn't, I guess, ejecting. They're not taking it off my actual computer. I mean, they do have ways to actually block that, but they're not gonna block, you know, Adobe Muse from somebody else, I don't think, especially if you're paying for it. But I think what the email was pretty much outlining was that they're not going to create more updates for it and they're just gonna let that go. It's almost the same way they did for like Flash. So Adobe Flash, I mean, I think they let that go. And people who are using Adobe Flash pretty much integrated into like Adobe Animate and stuff like that. But I'm more of like going to keep Adobe Muse. So I'll probably still be updating my websites and stuff like that. But I wanna go ahead and read the email that they sent out to me. So they said, a little more than two weeks have passed since we announced the end of the feature development for Muse which I didn't even get that because, well, I probably did, but you know, I was moving back to St. Louis, you guys, so I ain't really know nothing about that. Uh, we listened to your feedback on a variety of channels in addition to speaking directly with a number of you. So a lot of people who didn't understand music, matter of fact, let me get into that in a second. Closing down any product is never an easy business decision that we understand that this presents a challenge for many of our customers. While you look at alternative solutions for your business, you've asked us for more time. As such, we have decided to extend the Muse technical support period for all Creative Cloud customers for 15 months to 24 months with the end of technical support now scheduled for March 26, 2020. So basically what I feel about this is what they're doing is they're not supporting this anymore. So, I mean, it's still going to be there, but I don't think I don't think they can actually close down a program that they're not updating, you know? So like, I, so here's my situation. Anytime like I don't pay Adobe, they block me from actually using the actual program. They're like, well, you got 10 days to pay and then that's the end of it, right? So does that mean that they're not going to let me use the actual program anymore? Or can I still get on and use the program? I just can't upload to Business Catalyst because I don't really use Business Catalyst. I use my own hosting and stuff like that. I don't use the Business Catalyst or anything like that. I was always using hosting because I know I had clients and customers who pretty much wanted websites and stuff like that. This was easy for me to do for them and fast for me to do it. So I just, you know, upload it to like an FTP server or whatnot. And we would go from there. But are they saying that I won't be able to use Adobe Muse as a platform anymore? Or are they just not updating it anymore? And people who after March 2020 or March 19th of 2020 or whatever, March 26th, whatever of 2020, they're not going to be able to download that anymore. They saying that this is no longer downloadable and the people that got it, got it. The people who don't, well, whatever. Or are they saying that they're just not going to update the program anymore and that's just the end of it. It's just going away. From what I understand in the feature development for news, I, I guess that kind of means like they're just not going to work on it anymore. Like they're probably going to put something in its place. So that's just something I've been thinking about. I don't know if you guys are even affected by Adobe News, but I know for a fact, I ran many a pro, I've run a lot of websites off Adobe News and Adobe News was pretty cool, you guys. I wanted to start giving you guys tutorials on it. And I mean, if you guys have it, I would say this is the perfect time to just go ahead and download it, you know, but you know, here's the thing, you gotta get CC. And I know a lot of you guys are against CC because it's a membership fee, you know what I'm saying? of however much dollars you have to pay. Now I'll pay 50 bucks for it a month. And look, I'm not sponsored by Adobe. They don't even like invite me places. So like I said, if you guys are to plug the Adobe, hey, can I come to Max? Like I wanna go to Max. But I think CC is pretty awesome. Like I said, you get these kind of announcements or whatnot and it's kind of shaky because I don't know. But I, if you guys have CC, I think this is the perfect time to get it because they're not gonna have it no more. This was the only time, I mean, you could get an Adobe program that was kind of front end 
you know like you didn't have to worry about coding websites and stuff like that now if you guys knew how to code websites and stuff like that then adobe muse was like just the platform for you to just be a photoshop artist and you can plug in like different html and javascript and stuff like that you didn't have to worry about css because css wasn't even integrated into the actual program and you know that would be an awesome idea for them to actually put that into a program like create a adobe muse 2.0 kind of thing or not where you can actually you know code css or you can just draw it out but css wasn't something that you had to worry about and html kind of not really but when you had to worry about like javascript that's the thing that people was kind of messing up on and you know they'd plug things in and they'll break the sites or they use plugins and i will never tell you guys to use a plugin unless i actually feel like that plugin is like awesome you know what i'm saying but like i was saying back to what i was saying like this is the perfect time to actually get that program because if they're not going to support it no more that means that they're not uploading like these different like updates that was killing people's programs because i remember for a fact one time i had a website that was getting killed like every time i did something it was getting killed you know because the next week they would update that program and my website was gone <laughs> my website just had to go so if that's something that i can do for you guys if i can at least give you guys like the last few months or year of like adobe views kind of like tutorials or whatnot if you guys would like that then let me know in the comment section below but i'm actually kind of i'm low-key kind of sad because that was about to be the thing for me like i was just about to go ahead and show you guys how to make it i still do that for clients and stuff like that but i don't know if views is something they're just going to eject from everybody's like computer if they're just going to block that off completely and you know business catalyst goes with it or if this is just something that they're just saying like we're not going to update anymore and we're just going to let it kind of fade out you know maybe they just come in with something different like maybe this will be something that they're like well here's muse 2.0 and muse 2.0 is just amazing you know so i don't know it is what it is you guys let me know in the comment section below what you feel like but i think with that being said i'm pretty much done with this so stay amazing stay creative but above all else stay awesome